What's good, y'all? Welcome to my review for this week's episode of Dragon Ball Super. You gotta say, um, it was a filler episode, like I thought it was. Um, yeah, I overthought thought it was pretty good, but I said the same thing about the Emperor, about the, you know, the, uh, Planet Potifu shit in the first episode, but that was good. Then we all knew and nose dived into shit, so. I'm expecting a similar dive in quality for this arc, for this filler arc as well, but who knows? I would love to be surprised and end up being actually enjoyable and worth my time while we wait for the Universe Survival arc to begin, which I heard that's actually only, which I heard that arc is actually only 30 episodes long, but I remember it lasts like two to like two years, um, you know, there in Japan. And apparently that was due to the fact that the uh, Super took a lot of uh, weeks off due to Japanese holidays and shit, which, if that's the case, that would explain why I did, why it was so long, and why they were like, you know, because I remember this was like a long arc that I would constantly see all over my YouTube feed for like the past two years, in all honesty. So yeah, let's begin. So we start the episode off, we got Balma, she's, you know, going to her lab, she's actually building a time machine. To, you know, I guess just to know what she, that she has in case she needs it, or... Just she wants to get. She just wants to build it because, like you know, she has a note and her future tells it. So why can't she, uh, her friends and self, do it? I guess. Um. So yeah. So she ends up like you know doing some shit on her computer. She goes inside. It doesn't work because it looks like the um key she has has this crystal in, but it isn't like the right crystal it needs for the time machine to fully function. So then we end up going to Goku, where we find out that he's gonna be uh, using uh, summoning the uh, game of Dragon Balls and summoning Shenron to bring back uh, King Kai from the dead. Because like I said, he killed him off. When was that? Was that like at the beginning of Super when he killed King Kai? I forget, honestly. I think that might have been the Battle of God stuff. Although I could be wrong on that. Like I said, that was a while ago. So, you know, King Kai Super has like, Thank you, Goku. He's like, Thank you, Goku. I'm not even trying to do a compression of, of King Kai. Uh, so he's like, you know, Thank you, Goku. He hugs him so tightly that Goku is struggling to breathe. So that was kind of funny. Uh, there, so he ends up like you know, letting him go, and then he ends up going to to Balma's and you know asking her for the dragon ray. And Balma goes off about him like, "Yo, didn't you learn how? Why haven't you learned how to nod? And He's like, "How could I knock when I'm using instant transmission?" Oh, Goku, I love you, man. So, anyway, um, so we also find and since and, and then you know Abiris and Weez actually show up. Uh, while Bulma's outside, you know, trying to think about what she do with the time machine, she's super nervous. She's like, "Oh, hey, there's nothing going on." Which Boma, if you're gonna act like that, you're immediately bringing suspicious to yourself, like on what you're doing when, like, especially when they just showed up. Because if I was me in the situation, I would have been calm, cool, and collected. In the I'd be like, if beers and we show up, like, oh hey, beers. And then if you start doing the notes, and then I start going a little, I, I then start going a little bit on the offensive and trying to deny the time machine, but not immediately start denying it when I'm not even accused of having a time machine. Granted, I'm saying this, but if I probably would be just as scared as Bulma would be a beer. But Bulma, since when was Bulma ever scared of Beerus? I mean, like, she would always get into Beerus' face, like, a lot throughout Z. Throu not Z, Super. So she suddenly, I mean, granted, this is a, granted, granted, this is Beerus about time, so we know it's getting long, so she's probably worried that she'll, the hell actually, like, legit kill her, but, you know, Bulma usually always doesn't give a fuck if that's Beerus. She usually just talks to him like anyone else, and always just gives him shit. But anyway, so, you know, Goku finds the, the Dragon Balls and some Shenron. We'll see Chi-Chi. She's with uh, 18 and her daughter. I forget what their daughter's name was, in all honesty. Um, and then, you know, Chi-Chi's like, you know, oh, hey, it's nice, you know, you know, shop with a little girl. You get to dress her up, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Oh, you guys don't hate Chi-Chi. So, after that, Goku summons the dragon. He gets all the Dragon Balls. And then everyone, their fucking mom, shows up to get and then to, to make a wish, you know. 18's making a wish to search for looking for a gift for with the, for Krillin because while they're at the mall, she was also looking for a gift to give to Krillin because Krillin's always giving them stuff, so she wanted to repay, which is nice. And we also get I think that's like the only little bit of character development 18 has really gotten in all of Dragon Ball, like because all in all, 18 does not have much of a personality and all that. Like, yeah, she, I mean, she got her looks, but even then, uh, like like I said. So, yeah, I mean, AT hasn't really got much personal Dragon Ball, like, you know, besides, you know, how she was at the beginning when we first saw the Android show, she wanted to destroy everything to where she is, you know, kind, you know, she has a daughter, she's married to Krillin, all that shit. So, yeah, the, so there's sides of AT, and then, you know, um, Goten and Trunks shows up, they don't even really know what they want, but they're just there. Of course, you got uh, Master Roshi, he wants, he wants them, he wants them chicks, he wants them ass ditties, ass ass a dick. <laughs> So, you know, Master Roshi, he wants babes. Uh, the pig wants something, but we don't know exactly what because no one lets him say it. Everyone assumes it's like underwear or something. Um, Emperor Pilaf is also on his way there, but, we, but he never gets there because he always gets run over or gets thrown underground or something. It's, it's hilarious. I loved it. I loved it. 
And so, you know, everyone's arguing along with King Kai about who should get the wish. And then, you know, because King Kai's like, you know, oh, everyone's like, does it really matter if you're dead or alive? He's like, it feels different. It's like, it feels different. You know, he's like, he's mad. But then, actually, Gohan actually shows up with Pan. And Pan is sick. And she says, like, you know, nothing has really been working. They haven't really been able to find really anything, uh, a medicine to cure her. Maybe due to the fact that she has part Saiyan. But, and then, you know, everyone, then, you know, so, yeah, go, go, go on, ask Goku, like, hey, can I use the, one of the wishes to, you know, to nurse staff for a panic man? And everyone's like, oh, of course, of course, go on, please. And I'm just, like, saying, like, really, Gohan? Really? I'm not getting your daughter, and you do feel, and you're worried about her, and you want her to be in good health? I respect that. Like, that's, that's one thing Gohan has over Goku as a father, that he actually really cares about his kids. Like, I'm not saying Goku, Goku doesn't care about his kids, but we know Goku. He was never really there for Gohan unless it was for training. And we know that he was barely, he wasn't, he was dead throughout most of Goten's upbringing. So, you know, I, I'll give Gohan that. But at the same time, dude, she's a half Saiyan. She thinks she's gonna die for like a boy. She has like, what, the flu? Like, yes, I know, uh, yes, I know the flu has killed people before, but come on. She's half Saiyan. Like, like, a, like the flu is going to kill her. It's going to take a lot more than that to kill a Saiyan. Whether you're a half Saiyan or a whole Saiyan. Like, come on, go on. Have some faith in your daughter. Like I said, guys, like, well, I shouldn't even be surprised. You guys know about me in Super. You guys know that Gohan is also one of my, it's always my favorite character in Dragon Ball. As my favorite character in Dragon Ball. Behind my man Vegeta. But we know that he's become such a massive bitch in Super. I mean, he has, I mean, he has, has little moments here. But most of the time, he's just been a dis... Like I said before, he is a disgrace to the Saiyan race. Even more than Radix. So, you know, whatever. I mean, I give go on this for possibly you no know, really get carried by his daughter. But at the same time, dude, come on. She'll get, she'll be fine. She's half saying she ain't gonna die from this shit. So, you know, then everyone's arguing and arguing. And then actually, um, Bulma shows up with her, uh, later on manages to show up with her wish, which is to, uh, get back, which is to, uh, find out what is, uh, to find the element that is underneath the cord to finish of the time machine. She ends up, uh, because everyone else is arguing about the wishes, she ends up solving everyone's wishes, uh, for them. Or at least most of them when she can. And Goku actually says that she's a better wish granter than Shenron. Which I gotta say, what has happened to Shenron? I mean, when we saw Shenron in Z, and maybe I guess also in Dragon Ball, even because like you said, I've never really watched. Mo I've seen a few. Of the, I've seen a good number of episodes, like 15 of the episodes of the original Dragon Ball series, but I haven't actually watched a whole series of the original Dragon Ball series. But as we know in Z, and even in the beginning of Super, not really sure, but in Z, we all knew Shenron was probably like this ult. We all thought Shenron was like this ultimate badass. Like, yeah, Shenron with that menacing voice head and that badass design. And then when we see him, and then in Super, he becomes like a massive fucking bitch because of Beerus. <laughs> like, man, Super has like ruined a bunch of, like, you know, Super has turned a lot of characters I that we all love into jokes. Like, you know, like, Yantra doesn't count. Yantra's always been a joke. Uh, but, you know, Gohan, he's become a massive bitch. And, you know, Shenron has become also a massive bitch. Like, Super, why are you doing these characters dirty? Like, I mean, it's just why we're those super fucking glad, but whatever. So, you know, she ends up, so for 18, uh, she tells her that the best wish that she can give Krillin is herself and the daughter, because that's the one that Krillin loves more than anything in the world. She ends up blushing when, when 18 tells her. It was a nice little moment, of kind of funny, at the same time with the way they, well, the way it was erected, but, you know, that was her. For Max Roshi, uh, she gets her, like, a car full of hot chicks in, with, in bikinis. Uh, for the pig, she ends up just having 18 kick him off the stage and giving her a bunch of zenny for him. Um, like I said, Emperor Pilaf doesn't show up, uh, Go to trunks don't know what they want, so they so eighteen so uh, Bulma didn't do much for them, uh, and so right when Goku is finally about to announce his wish, Shenron leaves, <laughs> like at the last second, and like after, and also she had Goku uh, get the uh, get the um, the crystal, so she but end up she but she ended up being me up with Beerus, and Beerus bowed down, so she cracked it, so he destroyed the crystal, and then destroyed the time machine, so that Bulma would never get tempted to ever you know do time travel, you know break the laws of the universe and stuff, but yeah. And that's where the episode ends. So overall, I gotta say this episode was pleasantly surprising. I did not, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna hold my breath for the rest of the filler episodes because I expect it all to be shit and all. See, but you know what? But you never know. I could be wrong. This or, this could end up being amazing. This could end up being amazing. It could be a great filler. I don't know, but yeah. So yeah. So hope you guys. So my final word for this week's episode is an 8.5 out of 10. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you feel like it. Leave your suggestions below. As always, come back for more. See you guys next time.
Yeah.